Yes, we are. Today is a core and arm day. It's Friday, we're training arms because you gotta have a fat pump Friday. Something we do here at Fitness Culture. I've been gone for like 12 straight weeks, so it's gonna be good to get back in the gym. We did one leg work workout before I left again, so I've worked out twice now pretty much here at Fitness Culture in the last 12 weeks, leg day. Today's core and arms, so we're gonna get going with a uh, pal-off press right now. You guys haven't heard of that? Well, let me take you through it. All right, first thing we're doing for core. Now, when we train core, it's not just coming in, doing some crunches and being done. We're not just working out for aesthetics, we're actually also working out for functionality. I know that's a weird thing in today's day and age. It's actually kind of coming back though. For a while, especially when I was competing, it was all just train for looks, train for looks. Now, it's kind of nice to know that you're coming back and training with a purpose. So, that's what we kind of specialize in on the functional program, which is what this workout that we're doing today is from. It's from the Fitness Culture Functional Program. So. The paddle off press is gonna bring a band attached to a steady surface. And basically it's an anti-rotation movement. So we're gonna be working our obliques, our core here. What we're gonna be doing is coming straight out and resisting rotation at the top of that movement. That's where it's the most difficult here. If you wanna do it, if you wanna make it even harder, we're gonna come up here and again we're resisting that rotation. So basically, depending on how much resistance you want, you're gonna step further away. So we're here nice and slow, come back. And it might not look like much, but I'm feeling it all in that right side because it wants to do this. So here we are. Three, four. All right, we're doing three things today for the first part of our core movements. So the way we structure it is we're doing back to back to back, no rest, just rolling through it. It's kind of like a extended warm up. So these kind of our recovery days too. The next thing we got is gonna be just a band resisted side plank. So Steve's gonna be in a nice side plank and we're just gonna add a little bit of variation here to make it more challenging and less boring as well. So nice light band, he's gonna pull really to his armpit and then rotate a little bit in his thoracic spine. So it really is good just for stability in your shoulders. You get a little, thoracic spine rotation, and then obviously you're working your core in that side plank. All right, so the third movement in this tricep is a V-up. As you can see, hands over top of the head, legs straight, coming up using our core, touching our arms to our feet here. So this is pretty much the hardest sit-up variation you can be doing. Working total abs here, upper, lower. It's a great one, we got 20 reps on this. Abs are gonna be burning in different places than you might be used to. Again, working a lot of the transverse abs as well, obliques, serratuses. So, one ab circuit down. Those were three exercises. We did each one three times into our next tricep. So we're gonna be doing toes to bar. Real fun one. Definitely a little bit more difficult of an ab movement. If you can't do this, just knees to chest. So we're gonna go toes to bar. We're gonna be doing a weighted plank. If you can't do them weighted, do them on your elbows, you do them straight. And then the third thing is a Russian twist. So we're gonna get after these three things and then it's arm time. Doing our toes to bar. Pretty popular movement. Again, if you can't do a strict toes to bar, which looks like this, controlling all the way down and all the way up. If you can't do that, we can go straight leg. If you can't do that, it's just a knee to chest. So if you need to stay right here, that's totally fine. 10 reps. All right, next up, Russian twist. This is immediately one after the other. So our abs are one of the fastest recovering muscles in the body, meaning we don't need a ton of rest time in between. It's not like it's our lower back 
abs recover quickly. So moving on to our Russian twist, it's not just touching each side here. I see a lot of people in the gym just touching each side. We're here, we're turning our torsos, touching each side, even leaning back enough to where now we're working this as well as side rotation. Third movement is gonna be a weighted plank. Now, our plank position, starting off on our elbows, keeping our booties tight. You can see I'm not up here and I'm not sagging. You gotta be able to brace yourself. If you can keep this here for at least two minutes, then you can move up to a weighted plank. We got one minute here with a 45 pound on our back. Wait, we're talking about we're talking about shoes because in between sets we like to talk like like ladies. Yeah, yeah, because I just love shoe talk. <laughs> this is how much Jake loves shoe talk. Brody asked me if I was gonna get the breads, and Jake was like, "Oh yeah, I'm getting the breads if they're gluten free." <sighs> that just tells you everything you need to know about <laughs> Jacob Hutton's shoe obsession. So now we're moving in to the bread and butter. We're, we're just talking a lot about bread right now. Um, we got the easy bar, reverse curl. Now, if you guys have fat grips, do that, we're making that diameter on the bar thicker. So a lot of bicep involvement, a lot of forearms here. We have 12 reps on this first set. As soon as you hit 12 reps on this, you can see Jake's range of motion all the way up, all the way down. Working bicep brachialis. This is one of my favorites for bicep brachialis. It's a weak point training exercise too because my brachialises are not great. So, get done there, move straight into the easy bar French press, standing French press. So, we're actually bracing the core, keeping our core nice and tight. He's stretching, hitting that long head of the tricep all the way down, all the way up at the top. You can see he's using a narrow grip, good. We've got 12 reps here, you get done, set the bar down, you got 90 seconds to go, 90 seconds to rest while your other partner goes. Might be the first time in history that I've worn a long sleeve on arm day. Yeah, Uh, doing reverse curl with the fat grip is a lot harder than it looks. Straight into the triceps, eight reps. Best part about training arms on a Friday growing up, you knew you're gonna go out that night. You can't train legs on a Friday because just in case you go to the club, start dancing, it's leg day. Who's gonna be here? Might drop it low because you get no strength out in your legs. Best part about the arms is you don't need to go nowhere but here with the arms. So just stay right here. Maybe, maybe double pump it, but it's gonna look big in your shirt. Thank me later. All right. There's one bicep movement. Nah, I'm not choosing it, I can't. I was gonna say this is my favorite bicep movement, but it's kinda like choosing kids. So we're doing our incline dumbbell curl. The biggest thing with this is, as you come up, palms gonna face up and try to force this little pinky out as far as possible. So, and we're not, we're not using anterior delt here. It's not a front raise, keeping those elbows down to the side, coming straight up, almost like a drag curl. And then, you know, we always say, you can get a bicep pump, a bicep workout, screwing in a light bulb. You see all that bicep action that goes on in just that turning of the wrist. So make sure you're turning that wrist as you come up on these.
All right, moving in from our bicep exercise to our tricep exercise, skull crushers. Skull crushers is my favorite tricep exercise, just overall tricep development. Doing with a dumbbell really allows you, again, at that top of the movement, where we have that wrist action. Look at the flick of that wrist up at the top, making sure that we're uh, full range of motion. That's a fat pump Friday right there. If you got a good training partner, he helps you out with some of the blood occlusion bands. Three, two, More left. one, it's good. Step into a Slim Jim, let's go. 30 rest, 30, 15. Woo, 30. All that blood staying in my biceps right now. All that accumulation, lactic acid, byproducts of cellular, whoa, it's all just in there. It's just staying put. It's like a cesspool of all this waste in your, that goes on. And then what's gonna happen is I'm gonna keep on pumping blood more in there. It's gonna say, no, stop, Steve. We can't take any more blood. But you know what I say? I say more blood. So we pump more blood in there and then I'm gonna take it off and all that metabolic waste is just gonna flush out and it's gonna feel so good. Pump the blood in, take it off, waist comes out. 15 reps. It's Mitch, can you see the bicep vein through my shirt? So you know it's a good pump if you can see the vein through your shirt. 15 seconds? 30 seconds. Oh, it's just staying in there. It can't escape. It's just screaming to get out, let me out! But I was saying no, stay in. Really hurts actually. That's why I'm acting like an idiot. Oh. Whew. There it is. We saved these for last because they're definitely the hardest. So many reps on here, a lot of time under tension. 30 reps, 30 seconds, 15 reps, 30 seconds, 15 reps. Oh. 30, 15, 15. All right. By far one of the most underrated tricep exercises, this one right here. Some of you are asking, Steve, if this is the functional program, why are we doing arms? All of our programs have an aesthetic component to them. But just like with our legs, you know, our arms, any body part we train, we do exercises that are gonna be functional in them. Our ab training today wasn't just crunches. You know, we're really focusing on core strength. And then obviously we come over here and get a fat arm Friday. I wanna make sure that you guys know that right there. You do exactly what we did and your arms will grow. But don't take my word for it. Look at Jacob's arms right now. Are they big? Yeah, they're looking pretty yoked, man. Definitely, definitely 19s right there. So I got, I got, I got some, I got a ways to go to get back to 19 inch arms, but we're gonna be in here every Friday. So if you guys wanna come in and get a fat arm Friday, if I'm here in town, there's a 10% chance that I'll be here. Come on in and say hi.